Many thanks to Joe Jaron, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Black Knight, and Lion Lost for making this video possible. Daisy Patch 1.17 contains a monstrous amount of changes, so here's a monstrous amount of tips. You can now have a separate camera and aiming down sight sensitivity with hip firing and raising your fist being tied to aiming sensitivity. The new CR550 is like the CR527 but fires 308s, the re-added Longhorn is like the BK18 but fires 308s, and the re-added P1 is like the CR75 but with a smaller mag. The newly re-added pitchfork cannot be used as a tool but the re-added meat tenderizer can be used like a hammer in base building and the re-added cleaver like a knife that cannot stealth kill. The newly craftable stone and bone spear cannot stealth kill either nor can they be repaired and they share the exact same stat. To craft a spear, you will need a long wooden stick and a stone knife for the stone version or a new bone knife for the bone version. The new bone knife is crafted by placing two bones in your hands and selecting it from the new scrollable menu in the bottom left of your screen. Both the bone and stone knife have the exact same durability, which is very low for a knife, but the bone knife weighs five times less than the stone knife. The first melee weapon that provides the same protection as a regular motorbike helmet has been added, KOing players in four hits. This badass looking helmet does roughly the same damage as a knife, cannot be crafted, and appears to only spawn at the new Livonian castle added in this pack. The coastal town of Niznoi has been changed too with the well now being located near the small church on the hill. More pieces of clothing were added in the form of clothing you can craft with rags in the same way that you craft a bow knife, just put the rags in your hand. Six pieces can be crafted with just rags but these clothes offer very little storage space, low durability and don't protect you much from the cold evil. However, the glove wraps protect you exactly the same way that gloves do against bloody hands and bleeds and the foot wraps work exactly like shoes do. All six pieces can be repaired with rags or the white sewing kit but only the top and the pants can be deconstructed back into rags. The foot wraps are the quietest shoes in the game and will allow you to crouch sprint near infected on most surfaces and will be difficult for other players to hear you too. Now when holding a rope in your hand you can craft a belt that can sheath a knife which isn't as good as other belts that have free attachment slots but you can turn it back into a rope once you upgrade. Also unlike other belts you don't need a knife sheath to sheath a knife but crafted knives cannot attach to it. Due to the rope belt saving inventory space in the early game it's a great time to remind people that you can craft a rope with 12 rags. By combining a dust mask and a water bottle you can craft the newly added improvised gas filter. This filter works exactly the same as the green filter but the green filter's percentage will last 50% longer. However by combining charcoal tabs with filters that are not attached to the gas mask you can refill these gas filter percentages. To balance these two filters then they both now degrade while in use but the green filter will last three times longer than the improvised one with no way to repair both. You won't get warning that a gas filter is about to become ruined so checking your filter quality level is now as important as checking the remaining percentage. The gas mask with the built-in filter doesn't degrade in quality level and lasts longer than any filter at 12 minutes but cannot be refilled with charcoal tabs. Eating charcoal tabs doesn't aid you in fighting the gas poisoning disease, only a clean blood bag and pox injectors do. Practice carrying blood in a blood bag on you at all times to cure against random gas cloud attacks that strike without warning. Alternatively, pox injectors can frequently be looted from NBC infected inside static gas zone. The alarm clock will now distract infected up to 35 meters away and so will the newly added kitchen timer. Similar to the alarm clock, the kitchen timer alarms for one minute but is a twist to set mechanism so it's much better for distracting infected. Setting the kitchen timer to tell you when food is cooked is difficult because it cannot be accurately set. However, with how the gas stove now cooks four times slower it may be necessary to use as the longer you cook food, the more damage items take. The free cooking containers become ruined from pristine in 26 minutes but no other cooking equipment apart from the tripod becomes damaged with use. The tripod can be used to cook for 66 minutes from pristine to ruined but the new craftable cooking stand is just 20 minutes. The new cooking stand is crafted with a long wooden stick and two regular wooden sticks and works exactly the same as the tripod does. To get a regular wooden stick now you would need to loot a long wooden stick from a bush and then split it. All bushes and trees now tell you exactly what you're gathering with the bigger bushes and trees giving firewood instead. The crafting and action menus have been mostly redesigned to allow scrolling up or down on the menus, unlocking actions in certain scenarios that weren't there before. All fireplaces in Daisy cook at exactly the same speed and we now have the ability to cook in containers without water or fat. Cooking without water or fat results in nutritional loss on the food that you cook though and it will burn in 15 seconds once cooked using this method. Cooking with a sharpened stick doesn't reduce nutritional value and the sharpened stick will now last twice as long when cooking. While the gas stove is much slower at cooking, it does warm you up and give you the heat buffer stat now. Heat and the heat buffer stat also comes from vehicles, generators and the torch and the two brooms that you can set on fire. The two brooms will need to be on fire to give you the heat benefits and the torch will give you two minutes of light per rag that you use. Coating rags in fat or gasoline will double the time each rag lasts to four minutes with the torch holding six rag total. While on fire both the torch and broom do significantly more shock damage to players. There is only one KO animation in Daisy that looks like this, dabbing legs and a right angle in the arm. When a player is 
KO'd, their feet will always point towards the shooter. If you're KO'd by a gunman, you will always wake up facing the opposite direction of where you were shot from. If a player is killed by standing or crouched, the position of the shooter can be determined by the animation they end up in. Dead players have a red circle next to the name and dead players do not bleed. Bonus tap! Clapping your hands makes a very suspicious sounding noise, but if you clap your hands with any type of food in your hand, you can mask your actions with a crunch. If you wish to master exactly what has changed in Daisy 1.17, you can view all the hidden changes here in this video. And Daisy 1.17 took a ridiculous amount of time to unravel and to prepare for you guys. So if you enjoy my content and want to see more, the best way to support me is through Patreon. Please do consider it as it helps me a lot with videos and the website. And you get rewards too, so everybody wins. Thank you very much for the continued support and have a good patch.